but they uh, told children as young as five and six because they have a curriculum for kids that young that they can choose their own gender. You know, I can guarantee that CRT in some form is prevalent in just about every institution in America. And uh, in the schools, it takes different forms. And sometimes, you know, the, the forms seem to be innocent. Other times, they're more overt. And one of the more overt, I'll start with the more overt, would be uh, there are schools in America, and I don't have an exact count, but they have adopted Black Lives Matter curriculum. And so they had an educational week. And during that ed educational week, the students were taught certain concepts uh, that were college level. All of this stuff, this theory came from academia. And that's where it stayed for a long time. And then it started to permeate the uh, education schools, training teachers, and so now it's in K through 12. But uh, they uh, talked about restorative justice. And that's something that we heard a lot about during the Obama administration, where they have books, children's books, to teach those uh, concepts. Uh, they talked about um, gender-affirming um, theory. And, you know, that is not really race-based, but they use examples of black people in their materials. But they uh, told children as young as five and six, because they have a curriculum for kids that young, that they can choose their own gender. So they're telling little kids that, uh, uh, little boys and little girls, that they can choose if they're going to be a little girl or a little boy. And then they uh, had a separate queer affirming. Uh, they talk about, uh, you know, ideas that are really destructive to the idea of the nuclear family, the, the dad, you know, the mother and the children, the biological children. And so um, that is critical theory because it's not just focused on race. Black Lives Matter curriculum, it is, you know, race-based in that it's coming from Black Lives Matter and it's indoctrination and it's certainly uh, something that would make, uh, it's meant to shame, I would say, white kids. And it's meant to, uh, I wanted to say militarize, <laughs> but certainly to, uh, uh, to make black kids, you know, feel like they have been victimized in a way that they would be called to address it. And uh, it's something that if parents actually looked at that curriculum or read those children's books, uh, they would be appalled. I believe many parents would be because it's not teaching their children the basics that they need to be successful. And so uh, critical race theory, critical theory itself, in the classroom, it doesn't call itself critical theory that your child is not going to be uh, presented, most likely, with any of Derrick Bell's books. In high school they might be, but not uh, in K-12. through They're not going to be told about uh, Kimberly Crenshaw's intersectionality, but they will be exposed to books that take those ideas. And so that's the extreme case. Uh, the milder case, how it sort of slips in, is that uh, the civil rights movement, you know, one of the, uh, there were, horrific, you know, videos during the civil rights movement of dogs being turned on uh, children in crowds, of police officers turning the water hose on people. And uh, the curriculum, at times there are videos, there are parts of the civil rights movement that's presented to young children, too young to understand what's taking place. It's not presented what comes through the CRT is not presented in a positive way. All white people are evil. You know, they're racist. They have things that uh, they don't deserve. Uh, they have stolen land from Indians, you know, and they have kept black people oppressed. And it's about shaming uh, white kids. And they may use SEL, social emotional learning, to teach empathy. And so uh, if your child is not responding in the right way and they're not properly uh, empathetic, then uh, that could affect how they evaluate it. So this stuff is dangerous. It's in the schools. It can be through social emotional learning. It can be through books that have been written by critical race theorists for young children. 
And so they should, parents, if you really want to know what's taking place, you need to get access to the books, find out what the teacher's notes are, because these teachers are getting instructional materials, prompting them or instructing them to ask certain questions. And in some cases, they can't deviate from the curriculum. And uh, there are teachers that are sharing their curricula, and that is helpful to know what's taking place. And in many cases, the books that are indoctrinating your children, they're not coming home with the child. They're staying in the classroom. CRT and DEI, because you can't separate diversity, equity, and inclusion from CRT. It has uh, uh, permeated just about every uh, institution as far as corporations and schools. And in corporate America, it means that you have your affirmative action officers. You know, that's the law of the land, affirmative action. Uh, but you also now have diversity uh, officers. And some univer universities, you know, they might have 100 diversity officers. And all of these people are supposed to be stamping out racism. And you can imagine uh, what it must be like to be a diversity officer and your job all day long is to stamp out racism. Uh, if you uh, are successful, you don't have a job. And so we set up a system that can never go away because it has to keep conflict going. And, uh, and in the corporate America, they engage in virtue signaling. And when they uh, bring in, you know, uh, DEI uh, personnel, or they may force all of their employees to go through sensitivity training, it's checking a box. Because often if you look at that top leadership, it's not diverse at all. You know, maybe they would throw a few uh, million, but if you're a billion dollar corporation, a few uh, million dollars thrown to the uh, DEI industry, uh, what's that to you? You're checking a box. Thanks everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed uh, this episode. Be sure to leave a comment. It would be great if it was positive, but I really want to know what you think. So leave a comment. Be sure to subscribe to this channel, tell your friends about it, and support Blexit and its mission. Thank you.